I think the best thing for NJIT is it being in the heart of Newark. Newark has so much history. I mean, this is the third oldest city in the country. The amount of architecture and planning that's right here within footsteps of school, I think is, is a huge benefit. And you could just walk to downtown, you see historical buildings built 100 years ago, 150 years ago. After NJIT, I ended up working in a, an architectural firm for about four or five years. Uh, really loved it. As I, I got through that, I started realizing that I enjoy uh, the, the managerial side and I enjoyed uh, construction a little more. So I started, started going into construction management firms. A couple years after that, there was an auction in the city of Newark. Ran into a buddy of mine, I'm like, listen, there's, a, there's an auction in the city of Newark, should we bid on a building? We looked at all the buildings, we said, if we're going to bid anything, we're going to bid on this one building, which was in downtown Newark. We knew enough about building and construction that we knew that the building had the right bones. So after uh, discussing it, raising some money, all friends and family, uh, credit cards, borrowing, uncles, aunts, cousins, well, you name it, we borrowed a couple of dollars from everybody. We got some money together and we actually bid on this project. Through a period of two years, we, we ended up rehabbing the building ourselves. Everything from walls to sheetrock to running some electrical work, everything we had to do, we did ourselves. We ended up selling the building and that, I think, is what really started our business. Since then, we were able to buy some other buildings in downtown. We started uh, looking at projects on Market Street, so some of the larger buildings, like the Dinosaur Barbecue Building, the Chipotle Building, uh, all those we started buying right after that. We also started looking at larger buildings like the Hotel Indigo. After purchasing that, we looked at it uh, to convert it over to apartments, but with its location, the proximity to the arena, and the city's desire to have a hotel in downtown, we decided to build a hotel, and that's when the Hotel Indigo was started. A couple of years ago, we started the Haynes Project, which was also a massive undertaking. It's a half a million square feet of just very, very dense building, just a one big square on a block. We were able to get Whole Foods uh, interested, and obviously signed a lease, and the Rutgers took a piece of the building, and then we also have uh, the apartments above. Having a business like this that has all these different facets, I think, is, is interesting. You really learn a lot from start to finish. You're really looking at every bit of development. So from raising capital, sitting with investors, dealing with banks, dealing with the city, putting together architectural drawings, budgets, building it, and then what you've done, the property management. From where we started from, from NGIT days to today, every year you're learning something new. We definitely enjoy it, it's very stressful, but at the end of the day, I think you end up delivering something that everybody needs in this city.